career hack? This is not my first recession, so I'm going to explain the Circuit City grift to you, okay? If you're under 35, you don't know about this one, okay? There was a store, a national chain back in the day called Circuit City. It was just like Best Buy. It was basically the same store, but instead of their color being blue, their color was red, all right? It was called Circuit City. It went out of business one day. It went out of business and it was right around the time of the Great Recession. So all of my friends had gaps in employment. They had all these other issues and they were stuck in entry level positions. They couldn't move up in anything. So what did they do? They all got together and they started covering each other's resumes that each of them had worked at different positions at Circuit City. Now he wasn't, did they ever actually work there? No. Were they been, have they been a bus boy for the last five years? Yes. But now on paper, they were a floor manager at Circuit City. Boom. They got more money. Oh, actually, I was the director of procurement for Circuit City. Boom. Nobody could prove otherwise. There was no HR department to call. There was nothing you could verify this information against. Nothing. And the reason why I bring this up is because I just saw on Twitter a man reach out to Elon Musk and tweet at him. He had to publicly tweet at Elon Musk. Hey, Elon Musk, do I still work for your company? You shut off access on my computer, but no one's ever told me if I was fired. Elon went, goes on to talk more shit on this man than is uh, legally intelligent to do. The man has muscular dystrophy, was, is, lives in Iceland, and had sold his company to Twitter for a job. Elon trashes this guy up and down and says, "You not only do you not work here, you never did any work. The man has muscular dystrophy. He can barely move. And Elon just talks all this shit. But through the guy's replies, what I slowly started to realize is, Twitter doesn't have an HR department. This is a living company, currently, that is floating around run by the richest man in the world that does not have a functional HR department. Opportunity. So y'all, you know what that means? It means it's time for all of us to now be former employees of Twitter. Don't That's so funny. Someone said, how is that legal? What do you mean? What? Who cares? It's it's just a lie. It's just a little lie, dude. What do you what do you mean? It is legal. Yes, you can and maybe even should lie on your resume. It's something that everyone does. After all, look at George Santos. Motherfucking George Santos got to Congress doing this. But tenfold, you can always lie. Just not on the stand. Just not to your investors, your shareholders, you know, things like that. Just not at the top of the hour. You can't lie. There's a three-minute ad break regardless. You know what I mean? Lying will not get you out of that, but subscribing for $5 or for free will. You can also uh, get gifted a sub if you're lucky. Um, oh, well, Elon technically lied to shareholders and said 420 funding secured, but that was legally permissible because he was a billionaire. The only time you can lie to your shareholders is if you have, like, more money than them, I guess. Like, even collectively, they don't have more money than you. It's like a weird system. You know what I mean? That's pretty much the only time you can lie to shareholders. It was legally allowed because the jury didn't want to do math. Yeah. You log me into 150k salary in IT as long as you can prove you can do the job. Who gives a shit? Fuck yeah, baby. Anyway, uh, Geophodio and Duo Max 95, thank you for allowing 10 people to no longer see the ads at the top of the hour. It is not a lie because the three-minute ad break is upon us. It's here right now, and I'm serving it to you. Boom. Blammo. Roasted and toasted. All right, I didn't even finish this fucking guy's uh, cheat code. Don't like your job? You haven't been doing that job. You worked for Twitter for four years. You were the director of ad sales. I don't give a shit. 
They're never going to actually respond to any requests for verification because even Twitter doesn't know who works there anymore. True.